Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So when it comes to portable devices, I think the Nintendo Game Boy is one of these devices that I play to death. Like seriously, like I've played it so much. So basically my Game Boy Classic became a freaking zombie. And if you don't believe me, here I have the proof. Yup. So this is my zombie Game Boy. And that happens when you play too much with your Game Boy itself. But the Game Boy itself is a very interesting piece of technology from back in the day and I still really enjoy to play some Tetris. Of course, it was running back in the day on four AA batteries. It was a beast of a system, it, did, it had a very long battery life and I played it so much that in the end, like my original Game Boy was completely wear out when it comes to the glass screen until up to the freaking buttons. But in the end, this is not what we're going to talk about today. In this video, I want to talk about something else. It was called the Supervision, or maybe Super Game Boy. But in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Supervision. High quality stereo sound. Recently, I picked it up from a thrift shop. Yeah, I was lucky to find one. And uh, yep, I picked it up for $14.95. It's quite cheap and I was more like, oh, I need to check it out. I wanted to review it here on the channel. Also, this beast works on AA batteries. But I'm curious how good and how bad is it. I just want to, it's just for fun, just how good is this Supervision or Super Game Boy. Is it any good and is it better than the Game Boy itself? You can already see like this thing has a way bigger display, but it was more like the competition. A lot of different devices back in the day tried to, let's say, beat the Game Boy and didn't succeed. But when you're looking at the competition back in the day, there were a lot of different versions of, let's say, handheld clones, but also like completely new systems like the Atari Lynx and the Sega Game Gear. I did own the Game Gear, but never owned myself a new Geo Pocket. And the first one, I got was let's say 10 years ago I started collecting for retro game systems. My question to you is like which device did you own beside the Game Boy? I personally owned also the Game Gear that was an amazing system. I must say like the replay value now I don't like it that much anymore. I'm a mere big fan of the Game Boy itself. And Atari Lynx, I completely skipped this one through. Like, I just got it into the collection, just wanted to see what it's out there. But what I like about it nowadays, that we can get LCD displays for almost every single system, like the Neo Geo Pocket. But don't get me wrong, there are systems out there that are not compatible with these options. For example, the Supervision doesn't have this option. But let's take a closer look at it, because I want to see if it's worth even picking up now in 2021. But I was lucky to pick this thing up for not a lot of money and it even came with a couple of games. Because when you want to talk about an old piece of hardware, it's so fun to show and play some different games. Already told you like this device has a bigger display and had a lot of options. Like we having an input for a 6 volt power supply so we can play it without the batteries. The contrast the same like the Game Boy. At the bottom we're going to get the headphone out, volume control at the right. And at the top we're going to get the on and off switch similar to the Game Boy. So let's remove this freaking sticker. I can't get it off. I can't get it off. Ah. So at the back we can find a sticker says the model number. This is the GB2000. And this 2000 indicates that it is not the first edition. There were some very odd, let's say, revisions of the supervision. Sounds kind of funny. Revisions of the supervision. Back today you can still find. And of course some general information like the serial number. It also has the ideal with the slot, so that basically mimics the Game Boy, so we have interchangeable cartridges, so we can play like different games and bring with you. So funny thing is like we also have the option to have this multi-card that is like released back in the day, having Cross High and Blockbuster. Hmm, Blockbuster, where does it, where have you seen this before? Tetris. But overall we're going to get a lot of different variations when it comes to the games, Soccer Champion, and it also came with a protection sleeve. And let's see what kind of game is inside of this one. And this comes with the game called Juggler. I have personally never played both of these, or better said, all of these games. Of course, the other one looks like Tetris. Then we're going to get this pretty cool, like still having the supervision, some manuals, the penguin hideouts. Sadly, this game isn't included in this kit. So let's see what we're going to get with this one. Well, let's see what information. The soccer champion. So there is some of the manuals. So that was the only thing that we're going to get. I don't know if these things come in fancy boxes. I've never seen them before. But that's, this is just what we're going to do today. We're going to play these three games. And also let's take a close look at the Game Boy cartridges. 
But let's take a close look at the connections of both cartridges. And you can really see like there is a big difference. I'm not a big fan of the supervision in general, especially when you, these things are getting really old and it's very easy to damage these things. Like even like you can see yeah, having like two sides that you can damage it. So they just needed to have like a cover like with the freaking Game Boy. So the construction of the cartridges, in my opinion, with the Game Boy was superior than compared with the supervision. This thing still worked very good. But you can see like it is very clean so i don't need to touch it too much otherwise it's highly possible that when you're touching it too much and it comes too much filth and that these games will be like unplayable within a couple of years a little bit of a bummer okay so a really fun fact so when there is no cartridge inside and i try to power it on nothing seems to be working compared with the game boy you can basically boot it up without a game so it is a quite interesting concept so let's click it in let's power it on and let's see what we're going to get. Hmm. That first part sounds very familiar. Let's play some games. Alright, so we're having two games with this one. The display is very similar to the Game Boy. Alright, so let's try the cross high. Of course, beginners. Noob mode activated. Oh boy. Okay, I have seen this game before, and they just I ripped it off. But you can see, like, the, even the screen will be like the same idea like the Game Boy. It doesn't play that great like the original Game Boy. So when you started to drive, oh boy, this is really bad. But let's try a different game just to see how that will look. I'm gonna say a very unique soundtrack. Or did they rip it off? Let me know in the comments if you know. Let's see what happens while you're putting a line. A different sound. But this is just a really basic Tetris clone. So when it comes to these, let's say, basic games, Tetris, they are like playable. But let's try a soccer game. Yeah, exercise. That is a good idea. Three. Oh boy, this looks really basic. I'm not used to this anymore. <laughs> it's still idea. I think that these buttons do anything. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what kind of game is this? I can jump. And then? What a really weird game. I do like chewing. Okay guys, so let's try a different game called Alien. And surprise, it's in Shmup. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get. The soundtrack are quite basic if you ask me when you're comparing this with the Game Boy, it's like our time. And I think that was what made the Game Boy such a big success. There are like a lot of great titles on it, and even nowadays like they're fun to play. But that's when you're playing it back in today. You didn't know anything any better than this. I think as a back in the day when it was in the 90s, I would have a lot of fun with this. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with the supervision and it is like nothing to be compared with the original Game Boy. 
especially when looking at the display they were using it was not like the same the quality it doesn't like have the same speed or refreshing rate like the Game Boy you can already see like moving like with the racing game it was almost like impossible to see the character moving in my opinion it was freaking horrible but yeah back in the day we didn't knew better and yeah there were some things that I do like about the Game Boy or the Supervision so in general what you're going to get with both devices, like a lot of games you can play back in today. It's like memory lane and that's the reason I wanted to make it. Just also wanted to check it here on the channel what you're going to get. I never owned it back in today. I think it's a pretty cool device when it comes to technology. But yeah, there are no options for modding it like the Game Boy Classic where having like a lot of different displays. You can basically put in this like backlit or you can get yourself an IPS display from Funny Playing. That you cannot do with the supervision. It's like a collectible item nowadays. Yeah, and the main problem is these things get broken very easily compared with the Game Boy. But nevertheless, I want to thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become one of the biggest family, and I will see you in the next video.